Hi everyone, Rory from Data Spinners and TGG. Today I am going to do the first of what will probably quite a few videos to do with components. So maybe first, before we go into a demo, just talk about what a component is. A component is, roughly speaking, a collection of controls, labels, etc, etc, that uh, you can effectively package up and then use across multiple apps. So what we'll see is over time that this is going to develop further and it's going to make a bit more sense once we've gone through the demo. So here we are on Power Apps. It's, I guess, to an to all extent, to all intents and purposes, it's an empty app, and but it does actually have quite a few things. But um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to File because the first thing you're going to need to do on your empty app is you're going to need to go to App settings and advanced settings and then you're going to need to go all the way down here to the components piece I won't be able to turn it off you will need to turn this on and when you do turn it on then you will find that you get uh, a components area here and also on the insert tab you'll get the option to um, to bring components into your uh, into your app so what is a component well going back to what we were talking about before so here's a, a, a color picker um, there's there's different apps these are ones that I myself have developed but um, they are they are collections of controls you can see it's got different bits and pieces in and uh, and what happens is when you go onto a screen you can go onto a screen and then you can get a component and then you can pop the color picker in there and move it across and depend on how it's been developed you can resize it or not as the case may be um, so I'm gonna delete that and all we are gonna do today is we're gonna basic make a basic header uh, component so in order to do that, we're going to go onto this components area here, and we are going to click new component. Uh, that's created com component one. Now I'm going to call mine CMP um, header header. So it's the CMP header. That's my header. Now the first thing. We can see that it's 640 by 640. It has no real relevance to anything at this point. So let's go on to the width um, here and we will make it the app.designwidth, app.designwidth. And what that would mean is that design, now it can be fussy this, design width. Uh, and what that means is it's now the right size. I'm going to put the height. And I'm going to make that something like 100. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, I think I'll go down to 80 on this. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a label uh, and pop that in there. And I am going to put that into the corner and I'm going to make the width. Um, and I'm going to give the width the... I'm going to make it the cmp header dot width so it's the same and I'm going to make the height the oh, cmp header dot height okay good so that's made that the right size one thing I will do is change this bit where it says label 4 and I, I just kind of stickler for this thing sort of thing so I'm going to call it label um, cmp CMP header just so I know what I'm looking at so that's in there now what I can do is uh, my header and just leave it as that uh, and then what we'll do is we will go to uh, home and then we will uh, make it bold and then we'll change the size to maybe 24 and then we will put it into the middle and then what we'll do is we'll change the fill to something like this um, light blue color. So we have created a, a component. Um, it's called CMP header. I'm just going to do a quick file and then save. It's always important to save this. Uh, and then what we're going to do is go back onto the screens and we will go onto screen one and we're going to insert our uh, component. So we we'll go components and we will go CMP header.
So let's pop that in um, and you can see it's called CMP header underscore one. I'm going to move on to um, the uh, the second screen and I am going to pop in my header in there as well. Um, fabulous. So that's kind of OK at this point in time. It's not a complete cell. Um, and what you'll see is that uh, what we need to do is um, we need to uh, uh, do we just need to change change a color and just prove the point that this is actually you know a little bit more than um, than maybe what it seems on face value? So if you can get a fill and you can sort of change the color there, and then you can change the color of the text, um, color of the text, and we will do that as white. And you can see that that has changed. And if you go onto the screens themselves, you see that those have changed as well. So um, the next thing we're going to do is go onto the component and just pop a little a back uh, uh, icon on there. So I'll do insert icons, go down to back, wherever that is, um, back. I'll pop that in there. You can see it's actually the exact same color and we'll do the color of white, white. Um, and I'm just going to pop it down. Yeah, that's not too bad. And then I will do on select and we will do that as back. Back. And it doesn't take any parameters. So that means that if I go back onto my screens, um, I now have got a back button on there. And just to prove it work, and you can go to this, all this navigate um, button does is it takes me off to my second screen. Um, and you can see that I'm just jumping between the two screens. Not terribly inspiring, um, but this is a uh, this is just a, a first off um, an, an example of how to use um, how to use components, and we'll make it more complex as t uh, time goes on. You can see already that you'd be like thinking, well, why would I why would I want this? You know, what what use is it? to me um, and what we can do is maybe we can um, maybe just to prove the point is that this thing can actually have inputs um, so um, so because the only way we can change the text is to, um, my uh, new header um, the problem that you've got here is you can see that you go onto the screens and actually they're both called new header and it's not a lot of use so what we're going to do is we are going to go onto the header itself and what we're going to do is we are going to create a new custom property and it's going to be an input property so we're going to basically change what that is and we'll call it um, header uh, text um, text and custom property one we'll do um, uh, cmp header text call it something like that it seems reasonable description I'm not going to bother with a description and what we're going to do is we are going to create that now what that means is that we now have um, a variable that we can put things into which is great uh, and what we need to do is is on this um, on this text label is we go onto the text of that um, onto, onto the text property we go text and instead of saying my new header um, is we are going to use um, we're going to use that uh, property and it's called header I think it's called yeah it's called CMP so I'm going to make use of the input property that we just created and the way to do that is to go CMP header dot CMP header text and then you can see actually going in there and if we actually go on to I think it's advanced it's a little bit peculiar the way the way you get to these um, these um, properties and that's because you need to be on the right thing so it's a property of the header itself and then you can see the uh, header text there and you can see that the default value is text but it could be something else uh, it could be um, A B C uh, D one two three 
um, and so that will mean that it will always come in as that. But the reason why this make uh, this is relevant is because we can then make use of that property when we're using it, and so that means that we can do go onto the screens and it's got A B C D one two three, uh, but we can actually go onto this property here and we can change it to be something else like my first screen and you can then go on to here and you can go on to the property again and you can call it my second screen so you can see that we've actually got the label is the component has got an input we can start to see the value of these coming through and one of the issues that we've had with um, building apps in the past has been it's been quite difficult to I don't know have governance and have a consistency and so on and this is a great way of being able to have consistency across your apps and and not have to redo your work over and over again so one thing I will jump on is that I'm gonna go on to the uh, the blog that Medi has done so you can see here that there are 10 reusable components, tab control, etc, etc. So uh, if you jump into there, and obviously it's on, on Power Apps, I'll see if I can put a link in the um, down below. And what you can see is you can go down a bit further and you can then bring in the individual components. It takes you off to GitHub and what you can do there is you can then download something. So what you can do is you can take the calendar. And what that will do is it will download it for you. So you just go download. And then that means that once you've downloaded it, and I have previously downloaded it, you can then go onto your components and you can then go to import components and you should be able to find wherever it is you've downloaded it. And you can open it. And then that component is usable by you in your app. So uh, that means it's down there you can see the component there and you can go onto the screen and you can then pop in your calendar so you can see that I think they've done quite a good job of this no doubt you can actually see that it does resize itself and so on which is quite clever and you can then look at this and you can do things um, be quite nice to look under the hood at some of the code that they've done here just see how this one works. Yeah, you can you can do a range of values and so on. So it's um quite a quite a nice uh, calendar control, and you can you can navigate um between the different um months and so on. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Apologies, it's always a bit longer than I think it's going to be, but uh, this one is is really important. So um, we will be developing this as time goes on. So hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I will speak to you again soon.